Hello, this is your Daily Meta for January 3rd, 2016. Uh, you know, with the book we're talking about, The Search for a Nonviolent Future, it's almost 12 years old. And yet, uh, it's one of those things, everything that I wrote in this book is truer today than it was 12 years ago. The violence that I talk about has gotten more intense, and the nonviolence has gotten more intense. So we live in extremely interesting times. And I want to tarry a little bit more then uh, on the introduction, the preface that I wrote to the book. When I finished that preface, a lot of people said you'd feel differently if you actually had a relative who was killed on 9-11. Well, let me read you the last paragraph of the preface. I dedicate this preface to my cousin Chick, who suffered a heart attack and died after his wife, his wife Silvita, staggered home late that night from her job on the first floor of the World Trade Center. So I did have a relative who died as a direct result of the 9-11 attacks. And you know what? It doesn't matter. We all died a little bit in those attacks and we're dying over and over again in the attacks that roll on domestically and internationally. So we must come to grips with what is causing the violence in our world. And that's why I'm very happy about Search for a Nonviolent Future because, okay, maybe I made some mistakes and I misidentified a little bit what causes violence and, and why nonviolence is so successful. Sure, I may have gotten some things wrong, but at least it points us to the problem that the biggest dilemma that we're facing in our world is this crisis between violence and nonviolence. Now, the Buddha once said, hasten to do good. If you do not do good, evil may enter your mind. And sort of that's kind of my point too. Hasten to learn about and practice nonviolence. If we don't do that, violence can partake of our being even if, if we're very much opposed to it uh, in our conscious life. So thank you once again. This is uh, your daily metaphor of January 3rd. And as Mahatma Gandhi once said, if you are inclined to join us, has, don't hesitate to join the experiment.